Obviously, education is really important when it comes to this crazy disease. This morning, we are introducing you to a Johnson County man living with ALS who's working to increase awareness of how it affects people. In today's Pay Forward, our Eric Pointer explaining the work that he's doing and also how you can help out. Kevin Kenny is overcoming adversity to raise awareness and to educate people on the degenerative terminal nerve disease that he was diagnosed with over a year ago. And in that time, he is finding ways to educate people on the effects that it has and to raise money to hopefully find a cure for it one day. He started an annual ice bucket challenge for his son's lacrosse team at Center Grove High School. He also works with the Indiana chapter of the ALS Association to raise money for research. He takes the opportunities to inform people. Uh, he says they are important so that they can better understand how it impacts those living with it because unfortunately he's had scenarios where his condition has been misunderstood. Like once at a fast food restaurant when someone called the police on him. He's like, yeah, Taco Bell thinks you're intoxicated. I said, sir, I'm not. Um, I have ALS and I struggle talking. Now, on top of that work he's doing now, his former Ball State football team member has started a new organization to help Kevin. The Great Iron Brotherhood aims to help former athletes going through struggles. I think not only is it going to help me, it will help other athletes throughout the country. I foresee this uh, gridiron brotherhood expanding and growing nationally. This Saturday at the Ball State football game, they will raise money for Kevin and his family. Another one of Kevin's former teammates plans to run 170 miles from northwest Indiana all the way to the university on Saturday. He's going to start early on Thursday and plans to get there late Friday evening. And for more information on the Gridiron Brothers or for the work that Kevin is doing to raise awareness and to raise money, you can visit our website, fox59.com. And we also want to know about people that you see who are doing good in your community. You can let us know at fox59.com slash pay it forward. Here downtown, Eric Pointer, Fox 59 News.